Hello crafty people and welcome back. This is one of our monthly challenge videos and our challenge this month has been set by Susan and it's a very straightforward challenge that leaves it open to a lot of interpretation. Her challenge is to create a pour and then alter it after the fact. So uh, it requires a certain degree of imagination and inspiration, something that sometimes I find a little bit difficult. So I am going to totally cheat. I am going to copy the idea of somebody else that I've seen online. There's a guy that I follow on Facebook. His art is phenomenal. A guy called Danny Young, and he is just so talented. He creates poured backgrounds and then he paints on the top. And you can tell that he has real talent and skill as a painter. I love his seahorses and he's done one which has particularly inspired me today of an elephant. So I'm going to copy a similar colour scheme and um, I can't promise at all to come up with anything that's going to be a patch on his original but I will provide a link so that you can uh, find Danny's work underneath. He's given me permission that I can try and have a go. I think because he knows I'm going to fail in a terrible way and everyone will go, oh yeah, Danny's was much better. So I am going to give it a go anyway. Thank you to Susan for setting this challenge because otherwise I wouldn't have, I would never have tried it. So I've got some glorious colours. Let's take a look. I'm of course starting with a black and white and these are all Decoart Americana colours. Uh, I have lamp black, the regular cotton ball white and then two of my favourite blues. This one is ultra deep blue. I like that one. And true blue. There's another one. And then for the elephant grey, I've gone for grey storm. And I think that together those will make a good background. I'm mostly going to do blue and grey with maybe black for my swipe colour and some white accents here and there. But I want it to be kind of dark and atmospheric so I'm not going to try and add too much white. I have got all of my paints mixed up using a one-to-one -one ratio with the deco art pouring medium, which I really like. And all of the paints have got a few drops of the silicon treadmill belt lubricant in them, just to give me a few extra cells. And I'm gonna do a paper towel swipe today. So you've seen me do these before, and the, um, the whole purpose of the video is not necessarily the pour, it's the alter after the effect. Um, so I am going to quickly pour off my colours and swipe and then I'll come back later on in the video and we will try and embellish it to make it look like something. Okay, fingers crossed for that part. Perfect, perfect. Just the kind of rich, dark and completely covered in cells look that I was going for. I need to just touch up a little bit with some black on this bottom edge, but I think everything else is perfect. So now I just need to leave it a few days to dry and then it will be time to try and make it into something. We interrupt this video broadcast with a special announcement. A huge thank you to my patrons and supporters, supporters of this channel and my arty and crafty endeavours. I so appreciate everything that you do for me and thank you for being a member of my insider tribe. Well, my swipe is now dry. I have to say it looks good, but it came out a little bit darker than I was hoping. However, 
still pressing ahead, I think it'll turn out fine. So what I did was I went online, went to uh, Pinterest and looked up a line drawing of an elephant. And then because it's so dark, I actually used a, a white pen and just sketched out on the canvas here the, the main features for where I want my elephant to be. It's just going to be basically his eyes here, you can see the top of his head, his ears and then his kind of tusks and trunk coming down here. So once I've got it basically sketched out, I've now got some paints, um, just a regular lamp black, titanium white, and I may go on to use this one. This is the um, shimmering silver metallics. So I am going to pop this down on my surface, get myself a couple of brushes and see how I can, uh, see how I can get on with this. Fingers crossed I'm not going to mess it up completely.
Well, my Ellie is done. And I am so, so pleased with him. It's by no means a uh, fantastic work of art. I'm no artist, but I'm still really happy with how it came out. And okay, not my original idea. Again, I copied, but as they say, steal like an artist, hey? So I stole someone's good idea. Thank you very much to Danny for letting me uh, make a copy of his painting. So thanks once again to Susan for setting this challenge to us. We have some really great projects. I've seen a sneak peek of one or two of them, so I know that we've got some really great projects in the challenge this month. So you can challenge yourself. Do yourself an acrylic pour and then make it into something else. Embellish it in some way. Add another painting or whatever you like. Make it into some kind of geode. And I hope you all join us on the challenge this month. Thanks very much for watching.